Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So Manchester United beat Fulham thanks to Alejandro Garnacho's last minute winner. What a goal it was as well. We've seen similar late goals at Craven Cottage before, but what a goal that was. And I'm not gonna lie, I'd become accepting of the fact we had dropped points just as three minutes for added time went up. We had a player down injured, full and wasting time. I thought there's no way the referee adds the right amount of time on. But you know what? We didn't need it. Alejandro Garnacho got on the end of a pass into the box, found that burst of pace, found the tidy finish. It was a fantastic goal. And over the last couple of weeks, we have seen the coming of age, a star being born, a player rising to prominence at Manchester United. And I know Eric Ten Hag has tried his best to play down how much people have been speaking about him, the hype surrounding Alejandro Garnacho. But when he does things like that, and the pass that we saw against Aston Villa midweek, when you see bits of quality like that, it's gonna be hard to stop the hype around this boy because he looks like a very, very special talent. Now, over the years at Manchester United, over the years as, my fan go, as a fan going to Old Trafford week in, week out, I've seen many youngsters that I thought were gonna be the next big thing. You know, I've, I've backed so many different players and thought those are gonna be the guys. You look at the ones that have made an impact in the first team, Kiko, Makeda, Adnan, Yanazai, not quite happened for them. So that he's got to work hard, he's got to keep going. But when you look at pure talent, ability, you know, that raw pace, skill, and the finesse as well, not many players of his age have got that kind of ability um, and get to represent Manchester United and Argentina. I know he's not going to the World Cup, but he has been involved with the international squad before. Huge, huge talent, popping up with a huge goal for United today. We needed that win. You know, going into the World Cup break, having drop points at Villa Park, and then potentially dropping points here, having only, you know, if we only got one point out of six from those two games, it would have been disastrous. So to see us pop up with that win, it was so needed. And it now means we win our game in hand, we're level on points with first place, first place, New, uh, fourth place, Newcastle, sorry. So we're still in a good position to compete for top four. And today's game, it was a, in the first half, we had a decent performance. I thought Anthony Martial led the line really well. Probably should have scored one of the chances that come his way. Um, we get a goal, a well-worked goal. Um, Bruno Fernandes find a fantastic pass um, to Christian Eriksen on the back post. Christian Eriksen pops up with the goal after Anthony Martial had brought the ball forward, popped Bruno Fernandes through. It was a good, well-worked goal by Manchester United. And in the first half, we should have capitalised a little bit more. Um, I thought we were better in the first half than we were in the second half, but we still were a little bit off the pace. Second half, Fulham were much the better team. United never really, you know, created anything of, of sorts. And when you looked at the first half, you thought, well, oh, Martial's holding the line really well. Players are getting involved. We never created any of those moments in the second half. You know, in the first half, Christian Eriksen has a chance, a second chance where he should have got his second goal. Martial, Rashford, Bru they had their chances. Second half, not many popped up. Anthony Martial, you can tell he's not been fully fit recently. He needs to play 90 minutes more often, but he couldn't complete 90 minutes today. He fizzled out of it. And that's where we saw the introduction of Garnacho. I thought the introduction of Garnacho was a very good one. But I also thought Eric Ten Hag's substitutions probably could have come a little bit sooner. But to be fair, we're also dealing with a team that there's a lot of fatigue. You know, we're lacking in terms of squat depth. We've had a few injuries over recent weeks, players returning from injuries. We've had a difficult time recently with the fixtures coming thick and fast. So I understand maybe why there's that fatigue, why there's that little bit of tiredness in the, you know, creeping into the games. Um, but we can't do that and you can't perform like that because you will get punished. Thankfully today we managed to get out of it. I thought my nightmares were unraveling before me as Daniel James grabbed an equaliser for them. And I've got to say it was sloppy defending from the back line. You know, maybe Luke Shaw can do better, Lindelof can do better. I thought it was really poor defending from the back line. And in general, in the second half we were sloppy. But the positive, like the optimist in me is thinking, fatigue that that's fatigue and hopefully that will sort itself out um as we get players fitter and you know we have a little bit of a rest um but the second half and the game and the headlines will be stolen by alejandro garnacho because that goal was huge what a goal it was 
and it keeps us going, it keeps us positive, it keeps the momentum that we've been trying to build up that was kind of uh, stunted by that defeat against Aston Villa. It keeps that going. Big, big result today. Really needed that. You should see the celebrations on the paddock watch line were amazing. Um, big goal and the big win. And to be in that away end then would have been absolutely fantastic. Um, there are some positives to take. I think we look like a better side when we got Anthony Martial leading the line. I know we didn't see that second half. I think fatigue again played a big part in his performance. But we look like a much better team when he leads the line. If you look at that goal for Christian Eriksen and you look at a few of the other moments where we've, you know, we've built passages of play, a lot of them coming through Rashford, a lot of them coming through Marshall. Um, I thought Rashford did well today at times, but he probably should have got a goal. Um, Ilanga for me kind of shows you where we're at when Ilanga's starting games. Um, for me, Ilanga probably needs a long move or something like that. He's a talented player, he needs to work on it though. And it shows you that we're lacking squad depth, we need players. You know, do we make a signing or two in the summer? We're being linked with the likes of Cody Hatpole. For me, I'd go for Ivan Tony. But you're looking around and you're sitting there thinking, we need, to, we need some business. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to leave. We're lacking in depth. You know, we had to rely on Garnacho to come off the bench and score today. You'd hope that we wouldn't be throwing him in in positions where he needs to do something every week. Um, but I'm just, I'm just relieved, delighted, buzzing. Um, we're getting Anthony Martial back fit. Hopefully he can continue to work on his fitness in this break now. We can have him fully fit for that League Cup game. Maybe a front three of Sancho, Garnacho, Marshall in that game. But it's good to see him fully fit. I think he'll make a huge difference to the second half of the season. But I think this first half of the season has just shown Ten Hag's the right manager. He's improving things, but he can't work miracles. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. He needs to be back in the transfer window. But ultimately, we're building a resilience. We're digging in when we have to. We do play football at times, although I don't think that was showcased today. Um, and the team is improving. The mentality is definitely getting better. But he needs help as well. He can't do it all by himself. Um, but today, Garnacho, amazing. Amazing stuff from Garnacho. Um, class. Andreas Pereira, what about his performance? Pre-season Perlo turned up today. And Daniel fucking James going and scoring, how typical is that? But we got out of there with three points. And frankly, we're just going into the break now. That's all that matters. If we went into that break on the back of two Premier League defeats, oh, I would have been heartbroken. Anyway, as it is, Manchester United have beaten Fulham. Alejandro Garnacho, a star, was born. And Anthony Martial's back, getting more minutes under his belt. Marcus Rashford isn't looking Bruno's really frustrating me at the moment but you know what I'm so happy right now with this win and I'm not going to focus on the negatives but we'll talk about that during the World Cup anyway keep it like like comment share and subscribe until next time I've been Adam McCullough I'm out of here